So in the last meeting which we were at, the CEO's meeting at iBiome, uh, I think last month, we had a very interesting question coming up and uh, it, this has come up again and again. And I'm sure this uh, video and this topic is of global importance today that AI in drug discovery, who owns the patent? Now, one very interesting thing here, which we have to note is we still have some jokers around who keep saying that, hey, AI will, can never discover a drug. And uh, they are uh, giving the examples of the current failures, which AI is having right now with drug discovery, where the drug is failing the phase one, phase two or phase three uh, clinical trials. So probably those jokers don't understand how AI works. AI or any, for that matter, any IT software works on the basis of failure, like it will fail 100,000 times in one day, it will be so successful that it will just replace everything else. That's how softwares work. So people and of course, some jokers who say that AI can never uh, achieve success in drug discovery, you're mistaken, it will. But now the bigger uh, elephant in the room is who owns the patent if AI has discovered the drug. So I think uh, there can be multiple definitions and right now it's in a gray area and uh, various countries have to come up with regulations, uh, especially United States and FDA, so that uh, we have a clarification in the patent law of these countries so that there is a, a clause for AI in drug discovery. But so far, as far as my understanding of the patent law and uh, the understanding of this particular uh, system is, you have to know this that when a uh, scientist who is an employee of your company or uh, the pharmaceutical company, if he discovers the particular thing, so you give uh, the patent to him and of course the company. So the organization can own the patent or the individual can own the patent or it can be jointly held. So this is how generally it works. But when we talk about AI, so you know, uh, as a pharmaceutical company or a biotech company, it is very important for you to know that the AI which you are going to use, do you have the rights to own that AI? So it's very important to have a agreement with the developer of that AI so that you are the whole and sole owner of the AI and any output from that artificial intelligence is owned by you. And if you have that a definitive agreement, a definite agreement where uh, you own the AI and the developer has passed on all the rights, then you can straight away file for the patent. But of course, you'll have to disclose that you have used artificial intelligence in discovering this particular uh, drug. But now at the same time, the FDA or uh, the regulatory authorities may not accept it. Now that's a separate issue for that. Obviously, we'll have to wait for the regulations to come. But there are legal precedents and existing cases where uh, we can use uh, which can be used to, um, you know, cite examples of AI generated inventions in drug discovery. But at the same time, I would still recommend you that you should discuss with an attorney or a lawyer so that uh, you follow the best practices uh, till the time this uh, there is any law on AI uh, developed, I mean, AI generated inventions or AI generated patents. So looking at the future of drug discovery and the impact of uh, AI on drug discovery, I'm very positive that AI is going to fail for 100,000 times in the ne next 10 years on various uh, levels. But then once it has learned, once it has been trained, just like you can see OpenAI, once it has been trained on various uh, data sets, it will be automated. So as long as AI does not achieve similarity, you're free to claim the patent. And of course, there has to be a patent law in the future, which will definitely answer this. But for now, I am confident that uh, if you own the AI, you own the patent, you can file a patent in your name. Of course, you'll have to disclose that you used AI to achieve this particular drug. So this is all uh, my personal views on this topic. However, views can change in the future. Regulations can change in the future. And so yeah, stay put, uh, subscribe to Biotechnica because that's where we will keep talking about all this uh, upcoming changes in AI, upcoming changes in drug discovery. And see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.